Welcome to Med Trainer. Chapter 1 Introduction to the Bloodborne Pathogen Standard, also known as BBP. Your employer is providing this training, which is required by the Occupational Health and Safety Administration, also known as OSHA, for certain types of job duties that are at risk for exposure. This chapter will help you understand how to protect yourself and others from BBP. Additional chapters for state-specific guidelines are available for viewing upon completion of the sixth chapter. In this chapter, we will cover a brief overview of the foundation and the pillars that support the BBP standard established to protect you, your coworkers, and the general public. So what are blood-borne pathogens? Human blood, human blood components, and products made from human blood. Blood-borne pathogens means pathogenic microorganisms that are present in human blood and can cause disease in humans. These pathogens include, but are not limited to, hepatitis B virus, HBV, and the human immunodeficiency virus, HIV. Other potentially infectious material, OPIM, includes pleural fluid, a fluid that is typically pale yellow and transparent that fills the inside of body cavities, pericardial fluid, fluid within the heart and cardiovascular system, amniotic fluid, water-like fluid that originates from the maternal plasma, cerebrospinal fluid, clear colorless bodily fluid produced in the brain, peritoneal fluid, liquid that is made in the abdominal cavity to lubricate the surface of the tissue that lines the abdominal wall and pelvic cavity and covers most of the organs in the abdomen, synovial fluid, lubricates the articulating joints, knees and elbows, saliva in dental procedures, unfixed tissue or organ from a human, dead or alive, semen and vaginal secretions, or other tissues from experimental animals infected with HIV and HBV.